Hello everyone, welcome to Harry B's Creative Minds Tech Channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use MailChimp. Um, so yeah, I'll open up my tab. If you go to google.com, type in MailChimp, it comes up. And then you go to the first link. Click on that. I'm already registered, but um, usually you go in there, click on sign up. That's the first thing you do. <laughs> and when you sign up, it should take you to a screen like this. Um, and then uh, I've already set things up. I'll just show you quickly how to use the create. And this is how you simply create an email. Uh, so click on create. Um, and then it's got a few options on the left. It's got email, regular, plain text. Um, and if we just start with just regular, uh, you can see in the middle as well, it's got the same thing, regular email, landing page, and it's got embedded form. <laughs> um, but we'll stick to the simple bits. So the regular, click on regular, put your campaign name there. I'll just call it test campaign click on begin and then it's got um try our new email builder which is good one's classic one's a new beta um but if you don't want to do that you can just click on cancel um add recipes recipients, which means um, who do you want to send this email campaign to? Um, you can import your contacts, click on import, um, and then you can yeah, either um, import from another service, you can upload a CSV file, or you can just do direct copy and paste, and then click continue. So if I just click on um, um, copy and paste, click on continue. Um, these are the examples that you can, can use. You copy and paste your emails that you want to send your campaign to in this format. And then you click on organize. So it's got error there because I haven't put anything in. So if I just type in, if I cancel that, then you it goes back and you can see an example of how you need to write your email. So it goes, start with the email, then the first name, last name, and then address. And we can, for this purpose, I'm just gonna put my details in, those details. Um, and then you want to select your status. Have you subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed, clean? Um, and then I will, I'll just click on subscribed, update any existing comments. I don't need to just continue to tag and um, set for tags, or you can create a tag. So you can attack just, um, it's easy. So it helps you to search for your email contacts. So I'm just going to put in staff and um, I could put another tab called um, test and then continue to match and then I'm going to finalize my import review and complete complete import so then you've got return to email Operation. And it's really simple as that in just a few steps. Um, you could also use the classic um, builder. Um, if we click on select, you can select one of the templates here. Let, you've got sell products, make an appointment, tell a story, educate. Um, and then you've got some very basic ones. So if you start with the basic, click on that, one column. Um, you can add your logo, um, you can um, also edit this text that you have here, 
um, see, then you can just change that as well. And then you do save and close, and then you can add image text. You can add whatever you want. So we can just drop this down here. So that's a, a block where you can just add text images. Um, so if you click on browse, you browse to your, you can click on upload and that will take you to your local drive. And then you can add in the images to the um, uh, template. Um, so yeah, you go back to your basic. Click on it once. And you can see um, the dialog box uh, image group that I dropped in is still there. Um, what else can you do? You can also add in a footer. It says drop block there. You can type whatever text you want and everything. Then you just do save and close. Then you do continue. Um, and then you will uh, add your recipient, recipients. That's um, who are you sending this email to? Um, who is it from? Just add like the from. So here I could just add my name. Just do Harry Pollard. Harry at Pollard.com. Then you can just click on save. Then you can click on your subject line. Um, and then you can add your content, but it verifies. So if you put in um, a dummy email address, it will verify the domain. So you'll know it's not work. I'll put in one that is correct. Click on save, verify domain, send email verification. So I have to go to my email to make sure that this is um, correct. So if you go to your email address and check, um, I've just used another device to check that. And I'm going to see if I can get a verification code soon. So but when it comes through to your email, put the um, entry verification and then you'll be able to verify and it should um, work. And then you should be able to go to the next field, which should be um, enter the subject, then the content. Um, and then you'll just um, click on save. You can also share your campaign. You can add it to a post, Twitter, Instagram. It's all grayed out. Um, and it will be grayed out until you have the email verification. But if I click on cancel, you can still see everything else. Um, so you can put your social media link here. If I click on edit, um, and you can save that. Um, you can connect to Facebook. It says transferring you to Facebook. I don't want to do that, but that's in there. And then what else does it do? Then if you go to Instagram, click on connect to Instagram, connect to Facebook, Instagram business profile. And then it just goes, you takes you through the steps where you need to just submit and add the link to um, Instagram. Uh, and then what else? And that's pretty much it. Once you finish, you click on save and uh, you can send out the email. Um, there's a few other things here, which is about audiences and automations, but in today's um, email, uh, in today's session, I'm just focusing on um, how to do a basic email in MailChimp. Click on finish later. Hope you